Hey, wanted to send you a quick video uh, for something to work with on Kolb to start getting her back into the groove on leash. This is a really simple exercise that you can do either before you go on a walk or if you're not going on a walk at all, you can spend five minutes doing this inside or outside. It doesn't matter. You're just going to put her on a leash. You probably don't want to have blue around at the time. So the idea here is that we are going to get her acclimated again to responding to leash pressure, meaning that as soon as she starts to feel something, she acts in whatever way we're telling her to. In this case, we want to start getting her back into the groove of doing heel effectively. So what we want to do is we're going to give her tight pressure and then we wait until she backs up. The pressure is going to be coming from behind. When she backs up, I reward her and then I start again. So I do it a couple of times. What I want to see is that when she feels pressure going directly backwards, that she comes back. After she does it a couple of times, then we add the word heel that we say only once. And we say heel and then put the leash pressure on. So we're getting her back into that swing of things. So, all right, let's do a demo. Come here, boo-boo. Come on. Bring her around. So I will position myself in a way. Let's get her in the camera. Come here, boo-boo. There's my girl. Okay. So I'm going to stand whoop, next to her butt. I adjust myself rather than keep trying to adjust her. And then I will just simply put pressure on. And I don't say anything and I don't correct and I don't pop and release, just direct pressure, just a tight leash. And I just wait for however long it takes. Yes, good girl, good girl. And then when she backs up with her shoulder or her head next to me, here, boo boo. I give her a treat. Good girl. And then we do it again. Come on, Baba. We can do it on either side. Let's do it this side. So here we are, I back up. She tries to follow. <laughs> and here we go, tight leash. Patience is everything. Yes! Good girl! Good girl! And I just realized on that one that I didn't position myself well. I was too close to her shoulders already. She didn't really have very far to go, so she figured that out. Good girl! So you do that a couple of times, and then... Let go. Come on, my baby. Here we go. Now this time, let me get back by her butt, and now I'm going to add the command, saying it only once. Heel. Almost, she says two steps. So I'm just keeping the pressure firm. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Good girl, boo. Okay, so you do that. If you're not going on a walk, just do that a couple of times so that you can get the heel command in a couple of times. Uh, and then just be done with it. If you're gonna go on a walk with her, do that a couple of times. And then I want you to take the walk, probably 90% in the heel position. You can give her a break command to let her pee, let her poop, if you want to let her sniff around a little bit. But I want most of the walk to be in a heel. So what you'll find is when you warm her up like this and then you go on the walk, if you start her right in heel, she'll do it pretty quickly. She did it for me um, yesterday, after, or I'm sorry, it was this afternoon. So, um, so you'll bring her back and she should be walking peacefully in a heel. If you're walking and she starts to um, break the heel without you telling her to, then just devote the time to start the exercise over again in the middle of the walk. You just stop where you are and do this exercise again. So have some treats with you before you leave on the walk. Okay, let me know if there's any confusion about that and, um, and let's both just start doing it when we can have her on leash. And then when I get inside with, uh, with her in blue, I'm gonna show you a little focus exercise that's fun for both of them and also good to keep their attention. So, okay, over and out.